Hi everybody, my name is Mr. Murphy. I'm the interim superintendent of Willoughby East Lake City Schools here with our check-in with the students today. I am here at South High School with three of our top 11 students who were just honored at the board meeting the other day. And uh, I have some questions for them uh, that I think you'll get some interesting insights into the minds of high school students here at South High School. And very shortly, I will be heading over to North to do the same thing with their top 10 students. All right, James, what is your uh, most fondest memory of high school? Um, probably making the golf team in sophomore year, because I hadn't really been like super athletic in like my younger years. So making a team with cuts in high school was a good memory for me. Outstanding. What uh, what's your handicap? Um, I want to disclose that. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. That is no problem. I'll make you feel better. I'll disclose mine. It's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear about your favorite teacher of all time. So it could be elementary, middle school, high school. And I, I have a lot of teachers that uh, have really played a key role in my educational development. So. Um, I gotta say, um, in high school, uh, Mr. Graham, Mr. Pavalco, they were extremely instrumental in just uh, gaining focus with my career and my own aspirations. Um, in elementary school, I gotta say, a lot of my elementary school teachers played a, a big role because uh, in that one-on-one -on -one environment, I feel like I really uh, developed a lot then. So many of my elementary school teachers in high school, I have to uh, mention these in particular. Great. Well, it's. Uh... Glad to hear uh, you had some teachers that were an influence in, in your life and your school career, and thank you for mentioning them. I know they'll appreciate it. We always do. So I'm curious to know what you're looking forward to the most in this next chapter of your life after high school. There's a lot I'm really looking forward to. I'm looking forward to getting to know more than what South High School has. And although this district is wonderful, I really love it. I'm going to do a venture out of it and just kind of get a taste of what life is like outside of high school. I'm really excited for my future educational development and going into medicine and working in that field and serving people and learning forever. I'm just really excited for that. Oh, that's a great answer. Everybody, did you hear that? Learning forever, okay? That's what we want. <laughs> I'm going to ask you, James, what are you, uh, I don't even know if scared is the right word, but, you know, what has you the most uh, nervous about the next chapter of your life after high school? Um, I would say just kind of getting started and finding my place at college. It'll definitely be a change of scenery and a different experience than high school or middle school or elementary school, but I'm looking forward to taking on that challenge and finding my place at the next level. Great, and I am sure that you will find that place and uh, have no problems whatsoever. What was your favorite food that we've ever served in any of our cafeterias all through your schooling career? Oh, that's a very good question. <laughs> Well, there are a lot of things that I particularly liked over the years. Um, although I will say, and I think James would probably back me up on this, just the fact that grilled cheese is not common, and we every so often when we get that in tomato soup, you can never skip it. <laughs> I feel like that's probably, and part of uh, that is the fact that it's always meant to be, you know, one of those special days. So I would probably say that, um, only because only for uh, the reason that we don't get it as often as some of the other things so excellent well I, I love your choice and I love your reasoning so very good thank you thank you for sharing that right. what um, was your favorite activity extracurricular activity that you did throughout the high school band for sure whether it was concert band in the wind symphony and outside of that I'm at the fine arts association I'm a flute soloist there um, I study with Mrs. Elias, and I um, compete in OMEA solo competition, which is really fun. But most importantly, it's marching band. I'm, I'm the drum major. The first two years I was a flute, and now I'm the drum major. And it's it's been so fun just learning to work with others and learning to be the best leader I can be and working with Mr. P, who I really look up to. It's just, it's been a really great experience. And I love being with my friends and doing what we all love. It's just, I mean, high school, high school. It was my favorite part by far. <laughs> Excellent. Well, it's so important to get involved in those extracurriculars and they do they really round out the entire high school experience it's not just about all the academics it's, it's about a lot of things so 
not that the academics aren't important, of course, but um, what's one piece of advice you would give to any upcoming students who are coming to South High School, uh, one piece of advice to help them be successful? I would say just try as many activities as you can in your first few years of high school. Find your place here and just try to enjoy these four years while you have them because eventually you'll be looking back and you don't want to have regrets of, oh, I wish I had done this, I wish I had done that. So that, that would probably be my advice. Well, um, I would have to build off of what James uh, said and I feel like we really um, understood it because of the pandemic. We understood what it's like to have opportunities and then to step away from it briefly. So getting involved, starting your freshman year and really not uh, taking anything for granted, that's the biggest thing, whether it's activities, classes. High school is really the best time to figure out who you are and what you want to do in the future. You have a lot of people to help support you and you have all the resources at your disposal to figure it out and really have a great time. So getting involved, getting started from your freshman year is inarguably the best thing that you can do for yourself. And it really helps you sort of uh, get involved with the community, meet new people, and establish these relationships that you will um, that will last a lifetime. So that's what I would advise with freshmen, incoming freshmen. I think mine would be to just kind of relax. And I don't. I'm a big believer in doing all the extracurriculars and taking all the challenging courses. That's what I've done, and I think you guys have done it too. And that made high school for me. But there are a lot of times I wish I would have just made it easier on myself. And I think I'd have more pleasant memories from high school if I had just kind of breathed and been like, okay, this. I don't know. Me not excelling in the activity I want to do, it's not going to define me, it's not who I am. So just to be easy on yourself, relax, breathe, accept the fact you're going to make mistakes, but that doesn't hinder any success you're going to make in the future. Just breathe and go on with your life and everything will be okay. That is fantastic. I couldn't agree more. Uh, folks, as you can see, this is why these are three of our uh, top 11 students from South High School and they uh, have, uh, appreciate them taking their time to reflect on their experiences, not only of high school, but of um, their whole time here at Little East Lake City Schools. I wish you all the very best of luck in your future endeavors. I know you will make us proud, and uh, we're already proud of you so much, and uh, uh, glad you took the time to uh, speak to us today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Raviel, I want to start with you. Okay. All right, so my first question to you is, what is your fondest memory of high, your high school experience? That would probably have to be in marching band. I'm, I'm, I play the uh, snare drum, so I'm in drum line. So um, around uh, halfway through the season, the um, alumni come back and they play with us. And then that includes the drum line. So after the game's over, we have what's called a drum off. So we play our cadences against each other to essentially see who's better and the band cheers us on. Oh, it's a that's, really fun time. That is outstanding. Once you think back to elementary school, mm -hmm. right? And typically we had uh, three parties, you know, during the year. Yeah. Halloween, Christmas, mm -hmm. Valentine's Day. Yeah. All right, so which one was your favorite party? Valentine's Day. <laughs> All right, The amount tell. of candy you would get, and then you have your little brown paper bag, and everyone would just put little fun dip and little lollipops in. I would say that's the best one. <laughs> Outstanding. Good. Well, thank you for sharing. Did you get a lot of Valentine's? Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Not surprised. <laughs> All right, Raphael, if you could uh, say thank you to any teacher that you've had throughout school, it could be high school, middle school, elementary school, who would you want to say thank you to? So many options. Um, <laughs> you can throw a couple out if you'd like. It would probably have to be Mr. Boyd. He really showed me how to have a work ethic and still enjoy the subject, which was something I wasn't initially really interested in. So AP Bio and Science Biology, which is why I had this class for two years. But I really enjoyed his class, and thank you for teaching me how to have a good work ethic essentially. Well, that's fantastic, and I know our staff really enjoys hearing uh, from our students, and, and if they've had an impact on you guys, and they they all they always do, but they don't always hear it. So, thank you for sharing that. Appreciate it. What was your favorite thing to do during recess? During recess, <laughs> um, I'd probably say, ooh. Probably swinging on the swings. We would do, uh, we'd have little games and stuff. And I remember one time I 
we were, this was long pillow, so we were on the high high swings, and I fell off and I sprained my ankle, but, oh, so that was the last time I wanted to swing this, but before that it was really fun. You, you didn't get back up on that horse? No, I gave up, I, gave up. I was done. All right, well thank you for sharing that, I'm sorry to hear that happened. <laughs> if, if you guys could give one piece of advice to somebody coming into high school, uh, an incoming freshman for next year, what would it be? I mean, it would probably be that high school can be tough, but it's also really fun, and it's not as much work as a lot of um, middle school teachers make it out to be. Is I think a very big one. So, yeah. it's good. Good. Thank you for sharing. It's uh, you know, we want to encourage these guys to uh, work hard and but know that they can be successful, and they're going to have good teachers along the way to help them out too. All right, Connor, how about you? Um, I would say just be yourself and try to get involved as much as you can, like joining groups and sports. Like I played baseball and golf in high school and it was just the most amount of fun I had. Right. right. Yeah, just be yourself and get good friends that are good around you, basically. Excellent advice. Thank you both. I would like to thank you for watching this week's Check-In with the Soup. I hope you enjoyed hearing from our students as much as I did. <laughs>